Conventional logic tells us that all bulls are abnormally strong and should be feared. But smart logic tells us that we should only fear the strong bulls that we see in YouTube videos. And if that's why you're here, we got you. From a bodybuilder bull to a bull that could flatten us in seconds, let's take a look at 15 abnormally strong bulls that actually exist. <sighs> Number 15. Belgian Blue Bull if we're going to be talking about the strongest bulls in the world, there's no better place to start than the Belgian Blue. This bull is so impressively muscular that it honestly makes you feel a little lazy by comparison. I wish I was kidding. And they're so bulky because of a naturally occurring mutation called double muscling. The Belgian Blue has what is known as double muscling, a condition that leads to an increased number of muscle fibers. This helps create what we recognize as an extremely lean, ultra-muscular physique that would make even Dwayne The Rock Johnson say, dude, you need to cool it with this muscle thing. I don't think I have to say much more to convince you that this bull is strong. With muscles like that, it's capable of inflicting serious pain on anybody that has the misfortune to walk into its path. It's unlikely you'll be getting back up after getting knocked down. Sorry, Jumba Wumba. The Belgian bull is undoubtedly one of the world's strongest bulls thanks to this unique muscular condition. It's probably also one of the only bulls in the world to make human men feel insecure, jealous, or envious. I wonder what a psychologist would say about that. Is beef envy a thing? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Hereford. Back in the early 1800s, the Hereford Bull was one of the heaviest you could find in the world, with one weighing in at 3,900 pounds. Nowadays, they're not quite so heavy, weighing in at around 1,800 pounds, but don't get fooled into thinking they're any less strong. These bulls have strength in multiple ways. Obviously, they're a pretty intimidating breed with a lot of weight behind them, much like, say, a rhino. They could flatten you out like a cartoon coyote if they really wanted to. But they're also one of the most resilient breeds, thriving in harsh climates worldwide, a feat many other bulls couldn't even attempt. They've been found to withstand wildly different temperatures in Australia, the United Kingdom, Russia, South Africa, and beyond. The Hereford Bull is not afraid of any pathetic little weather conditions, you fool. The Hereford Bull is afraid of nothing. The Hereford is one of the strongest bulls on the planet, capable of sustaining just about any external condition. And thanks to its substantial weight, it can also take on an enemy with some confidence that it will triumph. Especially if the enemy is a human, our bodies are just not made for that kind of weight. Our bones would smash like carefully crafted glass sculptures. Number 13. Santa Gertrudis when Santa's reindeer are not available, he reaches for the next closest alternative, the Santa Gertrudis Bulls. I'm obviously kidding. These bulls absolutely could not fly, and they'd destroy a house if they landed on it. They're really just incredibly strong bulls. To be honest, I think Santa is kind of scared of them. A mature Santa Gertrudis bull will weigh on average between 1,700 to 2,200 pounds. Definitely an impressive weight. Yellow bulls or Charlotte bulls make good feeder calves, you know. But as with many bulls, the Santa Gertrudis's true strength comes from its sheer resilience against outside forces. These bulls are not only incredibly tolerant of extreme heat, they're also resilient to ticks and parasites. While other breeds may fall victim to their potentially fatal influence, the Santa Gertrudis can take the tiny bites of these disease carriers and come out the other side completely unaffected. And let's be honest, cheating death? How much stronger can you get? The Santa Gertrudis may not be related to Santa Claus, but it most definitely has a sense of magic about it. I mean, if you can survive a life in Australia's brutal temperatures, and you can survive bites from parasites, you can pretty much survive anything. And that goes for bulls and humans. Number 12. Pengus 
Generally speaking, Scottish bulls tend to be slightly stronger than their counterparts from other countries due to their native climate. Scotland is notoriously wet and windy, requiring a more resilient bull. They're also extraordinarily muscular and could beat the heck out of you in a fight. No offense. Thanks to the somewhat extreme climate in Scotland, the Angus has developed a hardy sensibility that allows it to survive the brutal winters. Harsh snowfall and storms do nothing to face these 1,800 pound bulls, which is more than I can say for myself. Never thought I'd be jealous of a bull, but here I am. Farmers who specialize in Angus bulls describe them as undemanding animals, good natured and adaptable as any other good bull would be. And if you're a vegan, you might want to close your ears, because they apparently taste darn good too, thanks to a natural marbling quality in its meat. Thanks to Scotland's naturally extreme weather conditions, the Angus has quickly risen to become one of the world's most unexpectedly strong bulls. I guess if someone gives you that title, your only response to that is, me too, and take it. I mean, what else are you gonna do? Eat grass? Come on. Number 11. Shorthorn Let me be clear on one thing, the horn size has absolutely nothing to do with strength. Just had to get that one out early. The shorthorn is just a naturally strong bull, and we'll leave it at that. Um, actually, we can't. We have a video to make. Okay, let's dive in! The shorthorn is actually something of an evolutionary wonder, having evolved from a race of strong shorthorned cattle in the 1700s. Throughout the 1800s, Scottish breeders selected the strongest candidates to develop the breed that we've come to know and love today, the shorthorn. Today, they can be found worldwide from the United States to New Zealand and beyond, typically being used for both beef and dairy production. And as with all bulls, you absolutely don't want to tick the shorthorn off. This bull has a temper and a whole lot of weight to throw around, if it really wants to. Ultimately, it's hard to find a credible argument that claims the shorthorn is not one of the world's strongest bulls. This is an animal that quite literally evolved from a superior race of short-horned cattle. That's like how Thor is a god because his dad is a god. Or something else that's actually real. Number 10. Cherylais if you happen to see a Charolais bull in the wild, I can almost guarantee you'd have to change your pants. These bulls are among the heaviest of any in the world, making them extremely dangerous, especially if you happen to find a feral bull in the wild. The Charolais typically weighs anywhere between 2,200 and 3,600 pounds. That means it's anywhere between the weight of two grizzly bears and a full-sized car. So you really don't want this thing barreling toward you in the wild? The Charolais Charolais has been found in at least 68 countries. Making it a worldwide breed and the second most common breed in France, with approximately 730,000 of these in the world, your chances of finding one is actually higher than you may expect. Consider this a warning, because they're kinda scary if you don't expect them. The Charolais is not a bull to be underestimated. As one of the heaviest bulls in the world, their threat should be taken seriously. Do everything in your power to avoid angering or upsetting this animal, and maybe you can keep your internal organs. Maybe. I'm not going to make any promises on that. Number 9. Sahiwal it's something that many people don't even consider, but the strongest bulls often come with the hottest areas. You can figure out why, if they can withstand high temperatures, they already have a hoof up on the competition. If humans are weak enough to be passing out like flies in the heat, I mean, there's no contest here. The Sahiwal is usually found in Pakistan and India, though they have been exported worldwide and can now be found in countries like Kenya and Australia. Obviously, all of those countries are known for their exceptional heat. Uh. 
which is obviously not a problem for the Sahiwal. The heat tolerance coupled with their visibly immense mass makes for a surprisingly strong bull that could easily wreak havoc if it really wanted to do that. And that wouldn't be fun for everyone? Apparently not. It would be chaos. Today, the Sahiwal is an endangered species, but they continue to be an incredibly popular animal in Pakistan. The fact that they can withstand almost unbearable climate conditions is apparently a huge plus in a country with almost unbearable climate conditions. Who'd have thought? Number 8. Cemental We all know that bulls are inherently muscular and strong. That's kind of a given, but the cemental may just be one of the heaviest breeds in Europe, and entirely thanks to genetics. No gym memberships for this thick boy. Man, saying that about a bull made me feel dirty. The cemental is popular all over the world for its high beef yield. Thanks to its sheer mass and heavy muscling, the cemental has developed a reputation for being one of the world's go-to beef breeds. <laughs> But you know what we say about a bull that has a lot of mass and big muscles? We say, hey, that's an abnormally strong bull that actually exists. And then we make a video about it. If you want statistics, the cemental is the fourth largest of the 32 non-dairy breeds in South Africa. Admittedly, that's a very niche statistic, but I'm gonna stick with it. One look at the cemental and you know everything. This is a strong muscular bull that is substantially heavier than many other breeds in Europe. Thanks to selective breeding, you can bet this highly adaptable bull could more than hold its own in the wild. I certainly wouldn't want to fight a bull. I would absolutely get crushed. Number 7. Brahmin When a bull is named after an Indian god, there's a high likelihood that it will be abnormally strong. And you know what? The Brahmin delivers on that promise. One look at this bull and you already know that this will be a force to be reckoned with. The Brahmin was developed in the United States from cattle originating in India. They have a naturally high tolerance of heat, sunlight, and humidity, and good resistance to parasites. All of that means that this bull can handle extreme situations and probably also avoid any kinds of serious infection. <coughs> How much stronger do you need it to be? Thanks to these lucky genetic traits and their own habits, these bulls tend to live longer than many other breeds. And as we know, life is survival of the strongest, well, fittest, but strongest works too. Like all cows, the Brahma is considered sacred in India. Though it should be regarded as sacred in other countries, after all, this breed is resilient to most of the things that could potentially kill it. That truly is some god-level bull, and this time I think I mean that in a good way. Number 6. Ankle What You See when you talk about the ankle which you see, you're talking about one thing above all else. This thing has unbelievably large horns. I mean, incredibly huge horns. And while horns don't necessarily make a bull strong, it doesn't hurt. Well, actually, it definitely does hurt if you're on the receiving end. The ankle which you see bull can weigh anywhere from 990 to 1600 pounds meaning this isn't the world's heaviest bull, but it's still pretty heavy, and let's be honest, that weight and those horns make it a true force to be reckoned with. In fact, these tree trunk-sized horns have broken records for both their size and their strength. These horns have the largest circumference in any breed of bull, with the world record being held by a bull named C.T. Woody. Woody's horn circumference is a whopping 40.7 inches. That's substantially larger than the average human torso, so you can figure out what would happen if you got attacked. The uncle which you see may not be the strongest bull in the world, but its impressive mass and terrifying horns definitely keeps it in the game. Nobody could survive an encounter with an angry Watusi, especially when you realize that they tend to attack in packs. Good luck with that. Number 5. On goal. If you ever find yourself in India where cows are sacred, you'll inevitably find the Angol bull. These massive bulls are known to be one of the strongest and most aggressive breeds on the planet, and in some areas of the world, they take advantage of that. To start with the good facts, the Angol is a highly prized bull due to its strength and resilience. This bull is said to be resilient 
to both foot and mouth disease and mad cow disease, making it a popular choice with farmers who don't want to lose their livestock. Sadly, the ongol is often used in the controversial sport of bullfighting in regions around the world, including Mexico, East Africa, and some parts of India. Apparently, this bull is so notoriously aggressive and volatile that people just want to use it for entertainment purposes. But believe me, with the strength and mass they carry, you better hope they don't get gored. The Ongol has a notorious reputation as one of the most aggressive bulls out there, partially thanks to their continued appearances at bullfights. Their continued resilience and toughness has only served to cement this image in the eyes of cattle breeders around the world. Number 4. Chinina At one time, Bulls were mostly used for drought purposes instead of horses. If you can imagine a bull-drawn carriage or a bull dragging heavy pallets of goods through the streets, you're pretty much on the right path there. The Chinina was one of these drought bulls, and it's now recognized as one of the strongest bulls on the planet. Ever since technology came along and put an end to drought animals, the Chinina has become more well-known for its size and strength than its uses. As one of the oldest cattle breeds in the world, the Chinina bull is known to weigh up to 3,500 pounds and is often used in ox pulling contests. One example saw two Chinina bulls pulling over 13,327 pounds on a single stone boat. I think it's fair to say that this is an incredibly strong breed. The Chinina is the tallest and the heaviest breed of cattle, so it makes sense for them to also be one of the strongest. And if you don't think dragging 13,000 pounds makes a bull strong, you're probably not qualified to be talking about strong bulls. What a weird sense. Number 3. Limousine If I've learned anything in this job, it's that you should never make wild sweeping statements without proof to back it up. So I'm not going to claim that the limousine was named after the first driving cow's vehicle, as planned. I will stick to the facts. At one time, the limousine bull was a drought animal. Used for the kind of work typically reserved for modern machinery, throughout the 1800s and 1900s, these bulls could be found on farms and agricultural sites, doing all kinds of intense labor, hence their incredibly muscular physique and impressive strength. After years spent pulling plows and carts, it shouldn't be a surprise to see that they're so muscular. Today, the breed is known mostly for its meat and stands as the second most popular beef breed in France. Any and all claims of cows driving limousines are unsubstantiated. Cannot stress that enough. Thanks to its ancestors, the limousine is today recognized as one of the strongest bulls on the market. And while they may no longer spend their days pulling heavy equipment in uncomfortable situations, they continue to be popular with young people who want a stylish ride to their high school prom. Look, the bull had to get its name from somewhere, that's all I'm saying. Number 2. Spanish Fighting Bull Need I say more? We could just end this entry here, and it would make total sense, but my job is to help illuminate and help explain why the Spanish fighting bull got that name. And who knows how long that's gonna take. The Spanish fighting bull is a Spanish bull bred for bullfighting. I see the problem I've created for myself. Um, well, name aside, the Spanish Fighting Bull is one of the most aggressive and dangerous bulls in the world, and I think I just told you why. Thanks to their breeding, these bulls tend to have an increased combination of aggression, energy, stamina, and a whole lot of strength. In fact, during breeding, the bulls are deliberately kept away from humans to preserve their natural aggression. That way, their first experience in the ring is more violent than ever. What a wonderful time that must be for them. The Spanish fighting bull may not be a particularly complicated animal, but it's definitely one of the most intimidating and powerful. Given that they are quite literally trained to keep their aggression, it makes total sense that these things would be violent towards humans. Let's hope none of us ever meet one, eh? Number 1. Texas Longhorn 
The pride of Texas himself, the Texas Longhorn is one of the world's most iconic bulls, immortalized forever in those cattle-horned belt buckles that all the cowboys are wearing in the cartoons. This is a bull that symbolizes Texas like no other. Yeehaw! If the Texas Longhorn is known for anything, it's known for those impressive horns. These horns can grow to over 100 inches, tip to tip, making for one of the largest gaps in any species of bull. It should also be pointed out that the Texas Longhorn is a descendant of the first cattle brought to the New World by Christopher Columbus and his band of colonists. Today, the Longhorn is often trained for the purposes of steer riding as well as the leading of parades. Because nothing says parade like a big horned bull, am I right? The Texas Longhorn is one of the hardiest bulls in America, even evolving to be highly tolerant of feed and droughts. It's fair to say that it takes a lot to truly shake a Longhorn. As many cartoon cowboys with longhorn belt buckles would say, Yo bulls, be crazy. I may be paraphrasing just a teeny tiny bit. Which of these bulls do you think is the strongest? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.